G'day. So we were looking at the uh, red highway a little while ago. I figured I'd do the blue highway, which is in the north part of my uh, the Yellowite Nation. So we start here again. Um, uh, the place is called Signa Hill, um, and it's not really much of a town. Again, I'm just showing you the location. You can see Bluestown to the south. Um, and again, have a little sort of lookout watchtower here. And uh, we're just going to head south to um, Kasgar. Um, again, uh, Kasgar, really not much here either. Um, although to the west, you have uh, places like Vista and everything, but I digress. Eventually, I plan on clearing out this whole mountainside and uh, building a town in Castlegar, but for now, there's just one building, uh, and we keep going towards Bluestown. That is a um, uh, mushroom island, uh, in case you're wondering, off to the northeast there. And as you can see, Castlegar and um, Signa Hill, looking backwards, you can't really see much. We're heading now south towards Bluestown. Now, Bluestown is a major jurisdiction on the map um, and again as you can see um, to the north there's a lot more built up than there was to the south because there's more places people would want to live um, again uh, Bluestown is located at the southernmost part of the northern ocean um, and it was specifically built so that um, the Yellowite Nation Towerland the capital would have easy access to the northern ocean before uh, minor and major canals were built. We're just coming uh, over now one of the uh, ship building locations um, for the Yellowite um, Nation. Again, uh, this is where they build ships that are primarily for use in the um, Northern Ocean, but they can make their way southeast, um, eventually ending up in the Central Ocean, and then from there um, cutting over near cast to the Western Ocean if they need. Um, again, this area is made up of two jurisdictions. Uh, you have Stavin, which of course is, as you can see here, in the um, eastern side, uh, although it's really small and it's just basically where they started building ships. And then of course Bluestown, which is basically everything else from the grain fields so that they can provide their residents with food in case they get cut off from Towerland or other places, um, as well as they could provide food to other jurisdictions in the area. We're just going to look at the Bluestown Cartography Center now. Um, as you can see, it's mainly focused on the Northern Ocean, uh, the Mushroom Island in the center. I'm just taking a look now at Signa Hill, followed by Castlegar, and then of course Bluestown and uh, the immediate area. Um, uh, as well as Stavin, and then you go further south to Spanner, and eventually to Ports Noor. Uh, if you're wondering about the area to the right, these are all just Blues Lands areas. And then, of course, this is actually the Orange Highway area focused on Listowel. I think it's called Listowel at the end. I can't even rem remember right now, but this is the northern part of the Orange Highway area. Uh, so north of... Um, uh, Falcon Point or Falcon Ridge? I think it's Falcon Ridge. Can't even name, remember what my cities are named. Um, and again, this is where the canal goes uh, south, actually hits the northeastern part of the Western Ocean, and then, but you can't go into the Western Ocean uh, because there's too many bridges, and so you can cut across to the Central Ocean and then from there make your way to the Western Ocean via the canal near Casta. Anyhow, let's keep going southwards through Bluestown, and again, Bluestown has a lot of uh, buildings, uh, probably the most prominent of which is the uh, Bluestown Tower, which um, prior to them raising the limit went to the actual limit. Um, let's go to the top just so you can take advantage uh, vantage point or take a view. Um, again, teleporter brings you to the second last uh, level and then from there you can get to the top. Um, and so, just to take a look, um, I'm just going to go a little higher. We're looking south now towards Spanner. 
east. Uh, now we're looking at Bluestown, and then of course west again. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna head back down and then walk through the rest of Bluestown along the Blue Highway. Um, and so now we're on the first floor, and we're back outside the huge tower. And let's keep following the uh, Blue Highway. Uh, along the southern end of Bluestown. Um, as you can see here, they've leveled off most of the land here. They're planning on building another jurisdiction be between Bluestown and um, uh, Spanner called Levith, but uh, nothing has been built yet. Um, eventually it will. Again, to the east is um, uh, the Nation of the Blues. Um, who again are the enemy of the Elite Nation? Uh, although uh, they don't haven't had a war now for a long time. This is Spanner, another huge town, and so we're just going to do a sort of fly around just so you can see how big it is. Um, they got a wall surrounding it. Um, again, it's it's an older town, but a lot of the area is newer. They are building a number of buildings that. Uh, buildings being built. This building is currently being built, and so um, along with Bluestown, it'll be a major metropolis. And again, as you can see, um, uh, a lot of difference between um, uh, the cities and towns and villages you see here. This is just a resort in the south of uh, Spanner. Um, they don't really have trees, but they do have areas you can go swimming and sunbathing. Uh, and these are just residential townhouses. You have a minor port here in Spanner. Um, uh, you're not able to have a major port because, again, um, the Blues built that bridge, which cuts off um, major ship traffic. And so, but you can still get like a, a rowboat through. Um, we're going to check out some of the buildings, by the way, in case you're wondering where we're going. Um, and so, you can still get a rowboat through with a cart. This is the Spanner Conference Hall. Uh, where um, business gets done between a lot of the, na the cities in the area when they're discussing things before they um, bring it towards the attention of Towerland. Uh, this is the Spanner Library. Uh, looks like this couple wants to be alone. Sorry about that, guys. Or girls are... Well, I don't Never really was sure what um, Minecraft uh, NPCs are, so yeah. Anyways, the books are upstairs, as you can see, in the Spanner Library. Um, uh, what else can we check out? This is just um, one of the many rich houses in Spanner. And so, as you can see, uh, a lot of nice artwork and stuff. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just checking out your house while you're sleeping. Um, <laughs> you can see Bluestown, the Bluestown Tower in the north. Um... Again, this is one of the uh, local um, uh, local supermarkets for food. Uh, this is Fresh Veg Foods. Um, there's a number of locations throughout uh, the Yellite Nation. Uh, and so this is their Spanner location. Um, again, they also have coffee shops. Let's check out this coffee shop. Um, what's it called? Spanner Snack Emporium. Again, it's, it's nicely decorated, if you ask me. Um, and again, they have a number of things to choose from. My favorite is the cheesecake, if you ever uh, pop by. So, anyhow, uh, let's uh, get back on that highway and check it out. So, uh, just close these doors. We'll get back on the blue highway. Actually, we are on the blue highway. Let's um, let's pop back to where we originally would have entered the uh, city, just so you can see uh, sort of transgression. So, we would have passed the um, store. And then we pass the coffee shop again off to the east um, is the Blues Town. A number of nice houses here. Um, a huge building here. More houses here. Um, and as you can see, there's a, um, a brown, of course, indicates where there's horse pens. Red indicates where there's a port. That's a minor port, as I noted before. And uh, we're just going to keep going through. We're heading now south towards Port Noor. Uh, to the east again is the number of uh, uh, Bluesland towns. And that's just a view in the north of Spanner as we leave it. We're entering Port Noor now. Port Noor was uh, one of the first towns built 
after Towerland, and it was basically built at the northern part of this bay. Um, again, I'm just looking at the, because there is a canal for smaller boats to go um, prior to the big canal being built. And so this is the um, northeastern, one of the northeastern bays in um, the Western Ocean. It's called Towerland Bay, and it's a very big bay, actually. It um, obviously links up with Towerland. Um, anyways, um, above ground, in case you're wondering, is a forest. Uh, they wanted to build highway access there in case it was ever attacked by the Blues when it was first created. And so, uh, as you can see, there's a huge forest. Now there is stuff in the west. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's Horseland area, somewhere around there. But anyways, uh, that big tower off in the western distance. And of course, to the east is the um, Towerland Bay, part of the Western Ocean, along with um, a bridge built by the Blues. We're entering the jurisdiction now of Birch Bay. Again, that's... Um, jurisdiction of the blues again blue nation um, and as you can see not really much here just residential housing um, we're going to en enter CAFO now uh, CAFO um, is where the um, palace of the um, leadership of the Elite nation is uh, just a little bit off to the west as well as you can see a ton of buildings um, uh, as we head uh, closer and closer to Towerland, uh, that's just looking to the north, to the west. And we are now entering Toulon, which has a number of uh, huge towers. Um, this is the uh, neighborhood in Toulon called Bay Park, with two of the larger towers. One of which is actually pretty cool. I shot a video in relation to this tower probably about five or seven years ago just where you could go skydiving in it and um, again if you had a bow and arrow uh, there's lots of pigs or different animals that basically fall off and you're shooting at them um, so just a little run through I don't have the um, dispensers currently working right now just because uh, well, I didn't turn them on uh, but again, just to sort of give you a feel, when they first uh, had the elites, uh, the, basically the flying wings come out. This is something I built so you could fly around and just something to do in my towns besides just checking out buildings. Again, I, I do have a lot of things as I've shown you before. Again, that's just looking at the west. Um, we're still in Toulon, uh, heading towards Towerland. Again, you can see some of the Towerland buildings now in the south. And uh, just following the Blue Highway, um, again, as we enter Towerland, we're just entering Towerland now. Uh, most of the Blue Highway is under the, um, the Golden Highway, the Yellow Golden Highway. And so right now, in case you're wondering why there's a roof above us, one, it's to protect travelers from rain. Uh, but two, um, as we look at the sheep pen and a number of the buildings overlooking that, incl including the red, red tower, um, uh, we have the Golden Highway over top, and so uh, that's just a waterfall off in the distance. And so we're going to be ending this video very soon. I appreciate you watching my videos. Hope you liked my um, tour of the uh, Blue Highway, and we will check out the... Uh, Golden Highway coming up. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you before I knew there was creative mode. Uh, I built all this uh, so that, without the um, sea lanterns, obviously, but I built all this so that I would have access to resources when I needed it. So, but anyways, thanks for watching. We're going to check out the Golden Highway next, or some other highway. But anyways, have a good day. Later.